Josh, welcome back to the uh, 2024 season. And uh, what are the biggest lessons that you learned in this past year that you'll be able to use, uh, you know, for this season? Um, you know, uh, life's a learning experience in general, but I think from the last season to this season, um, you just mature a little bit more. Um, obviously that loss was, uh, was a pretty deep one, I guess you could say. Um, but, you know, you just learn to take it day by day, pick yourself up when you're in the downs, you know, and if you're in the ups, you know, learn how to humble yourself. Um, but I think just, uh, enjoying life, taking a step back, realizing that, um, I have a life outside of fighting too. Um, and I think that, um, makes me enjoy fighting in general when I'm not so, um, I'm a fighter. This is my life. This is what I do. You know, I think you got to take a step back, enjoy the journey. Um, second place isn't always the nicest thing, but man, um, I'm in a good spot. You know, I, I changed my life um, from when I first started this sport. So just taking a step back and enjoying, enjoying and smelling the, smelling the roses or the flowers or however, however that saying goes. <laughs> Uh, there was a lot made, obviously, about the connection with you and your father, uh, you know, in the build up to the finals last year. Was there ever a moment with him afterwards where it just made it even more rejuvenating coming into this season? Um, yeah, you know, I felt like when the build up last year, you know, everybody was uh, tuned in on that. And, um, you know, I lost last year and uh, he was right down there with me and. He helped me work my way back up. Um, like I said, I'm human. Um, that was a pretty scarring one. And uh, we worked our way back up together. And um, he even feels um, the improvements, um, just not in the gym, but just with my mind and, and even my body. You know, I feel a lot better. Um, whenever I thought I made tremendous sacrifices, um, I came to find out that I, I, I have to make more. Um, and not obligation, right? Uh, it's a pleasure to, for me to make these sacrifices. And, and that's one thing he's taught me throughout the way. And last one for me, both you and Impa are very great representatives, uh, representatives of not only the PFL, but MMA as a whole. Um, when you have, you know, so many great fighters with the mindset that you guys have, how freeing is it to know you're all working for one goal? You're all going for, you know, a million dollars, a world title, but you're doing it, especially under the PFL where business is booming and everyone seems to share a similar mindset. Yeah. You know, um, I, I enjoy this journey that the PFL ha has given me. Um, I like to think myself as, as a positive, um, mind, um, a good guy, you know, um, and, and, Going back to Impa, you know, um, like I said, I didn't want to lose, but he's such an honorable guy to lose to if, if I had to lose. And, and I'm really happy for him. Um, he He's a good company guy. He, he's kind of like um, somebody that you would want to to push out for, for your organization, you know, and I would like to think I'm the same. Um, we, we were blessed. We enjoy our journey. Uh, we come from foreign foreign parents too. So I think that's a big deal. Um, you know, these opportunities that we have, it, it, they're blessings. Um, and I think it's, it's, it's awesome. You know, um, of course I would want the million dollars. Every, everybody wants a million dollars, but, um, if, if you, if you play your cards, right. Right. And you, and you push yourself out there and, and work after it. Um, you could still change your life. You know, um, I've been changing my life little by little through this organization and I'm, and I'm super blessed to be part of this third season. Um, I guess you could, you know, I could call myself a veteran now. Um, even though I don't feel like one, but, um, I'm looking for many more, uh, seasons ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Patrick. So, Josh, since your last fight, it seems like you've been doing a lot of DJing on the side. I wanted to ask how you got started <laughs> with that and how just how's that been going? Yeah, man. So uh, I've I've always been, um, you know, kind of like a, a DJ in, in sense. Um, I just been posting it a lot more because uh, I don't know. I used to feel kind of like maybe people are going to judge me or something like that because they everyone thinks I'm actually like 
partying where uh because dj's associated with party and stuff but it's just a hobby that i do i have you know I'm, i was born in miami i have tons of friends uh that they're photographers and their little side hustles djing so i always found myself in an apartment or someone's kitchen uh throwing my usb in there and throwing some tunes on um that's the beauty about djing right it's like go look for we call it like digging in the crates right so go look for tracks made in the 70s 80s 90s or whenever you know show me some cool stuff that we never heard before and, and present it to us and that's something that um gets my mind off of that mma fight lifestyle you know and i think djing is is, is amazing um it's it's something that's a, a hobby i've enjoyed outside of fighting and um i'll probably stick with it forever to be honest um i think it's it's a great great thing to do um i, I love music in general um and I, I love playing with my friends you know it uh i guess you say it keeps me out of trouble um you know and and it, and it shows it really shows me that I don't really have to to get crazy to to party or anything, you know. I just need a USB with some music on and and uh, some cool friends around, and uh, we'll play music, man. You know, it's it's been working out. Love to hear that you found a nice fun hobby outside of fighting, but inside of fighting, the division this season has to be the toughest since you've entered the PFL. I wanted to ask just your thoughts on some of the guys in the division. I know you're fighting a champion from another division, but I mean, it's a stacked division for sure. Yeah, man, it's a stacked division. Um, we got shoe face coming back. My teammate, obviously, um, you know, I've already fought my teammates before. Um, I, I would, would not look forward to fighting him, but we've already talked about that. And he's a he's a previous champion. Um, he's very good, you know. Shoe face. Uh, you got Wilkinson coming back. Um, obviously he had his his hiccup uh, in the past season, which you know things happen. But uh, he's back, you know. So got to respect that. Um, you have Impa, which has been on a, a tear. Um, he's been fighting great, even though he lost his last his last fight. It was a great fight to watch. Uh, goes to show to the world that um I didn't lose to no chump or that guy who got horse kicked um years ago in the UFC, you know. So um you, you know my opponent Sadi Boo, man, I just I just shook his hand right now, man. That guy's filled up. Um he's definitely not a 170 pounder right now. And uh he looks like he's happy. So um yeah I think compared to last year with with what happened um this year i would say the light heavyweight division seems like one of the tough tougher ones compared to all, all the other weight classes not taking anything away from the other other divisions but it's stacked man for sure it's stacked thank you josh thank you dylan hey josh uh last year you spoke about the wide range of emotions you go through throughout fight week and especially on fight day excitement nerves everything in between what are some things you do or tell yourself throughout the week to stay level-headed and focused on the task at hand? Man, you know, uh, some things I tell myself in fight week is um, I got to take it day by day, right? I arrived on Sunday. I have Monday. I have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday's weigh-ins. All this stuff, man, is, is still a day that you have to you have to acknowledge. You have to, to take it hour by hour, minute by minute. So, um nerves all those feelings they're, they're going to be there um anyone who tells you different um they're lying 150 percent they're lying you know you're going to get locked in a cage with another another person and um you're supposed to think that you're you did anything in your power everything in your power to win this fight and they're thinking the same thing so somebody has to be incorrect somebody has to be wrong you know so um you know you just try to take it day by day obviously att's in the house uh, in Vegas this week, we have tons of fighters. So um, when I go to the training room, I see tons of coaches all over the place, my teammates. Um, it feels great. Um, that's something that's been uh, good vibes all the way around. But even with that, you know, safe, that wasn't the case. You know, you have to learn how to manage your emotions, uh, enjoy the process. You know, my dad would tell me, uh, you fight a thousand times, you fight a thousand and one time, um, you're going to feel the same thing. Every time. I think that's what makes fighting great. I think that's why it's such a growing sport. But at the same time, you know, there's only a couple guys in the top that could handle that. And um, I love it. I love the feeling. 
um, of just training throughout fight camp. And then we get here and uh, the feelings always, they're like right at the door waiting for you. You know, I'm back. So uh, I open it. I open my arms to all the feelings and emotions and um, enjoy the process. And uh, you've, you've, You've displayed some great striking throughout your PFL tenure, but you also have an incredible wrestling acumen competing at NC State and Arizona State following an impressive high school career at Cardinal Gibbons and Baron Collier. Do you feel like that background and that wrestling base will lead you to success in this bout with the lanky kickboxing Sadabusi? A thousand percent. Um, I think there's no secret to how this fight could go. Um, if it's successful for him or when it's going to be successful for me, right? It's a classic striker versus grappler. Um, I don't see him trying to take me down um, anytime soon. Um, but um, I know he knows and everyone knows uh, what I need to do. Now, with that being said, I, I've gone to the er, multiple fights with that mentality and end up knocking people out. Um, could that happen? A thousand percent too. But um, I know where I put my training, um, my background, like you mentioned. And, um, yeah, there's no secret to this, man. Um, let's go take this guy down and beat him up.